Hello my dear friends, welcome to my video on Python Pandas tutorial. In today's video, let's have a look about indexing and selecting data using Pandas. So in this option, in this uh, tutorial, let's ha have a detailed view about how the indexing works uh, through uh, a normal indexing operator and LOC is a label-based label indexing. ILOC is the integer based indexing and IAT is like if you want to access uh, uh, a value based on row and column position you can use IAT IX is, uh, is a combination of it's a hybrid of LOC and ILOC basically it's uh, the combination of label based and integer based indexing but if you are using higher version of pandas this this option will not be available but there is a replacement for this let's have a uh, detailed look about how this works in in our practical tutorial all right so let's quickly jump on to our practical session here i am right so if you see on my first step i am trying to read my uh, csv file which i have over here I am going to use the same example which I used for my previous videos. I have used my friend's uh, details over here. So let's read the details from CSV file. And I'm going to quickly run it. Yeah, you see, if you if you deeply look into this uh, data frame, uh, if you notice, the header section is fine. I have got the name, age, location, destination of, uh, of my friends, whichever I have described over here. But by default, it has selected a uh, uh, number base index starting from zero. So, uh, so this is a, this is a default index uh, indexing how it works in Pandas. But when you go to real time uh, application scenarios, right? When you try to use a SQL database, um, your primary key column might be uh, the index and um, like in many other situation you want to select index you uh, know uh, a unique field as an index it's up to you like whatever uh, field you want to choose you can uh, choose that field as your index but in this situation in this example like i will take my name as index so i'm gonna uh, specify my name and i'll call it name right yeah, if you can see the difference now, now my name is selected as the index over here. Similarly, like even if you if you want to change uh, right to age, also you can change uh, whatever field you want to select an index, it will definitely work. So, but for uh, this practical purpose, uh, let's have name uh, as the index. Okay, so um, I'm gonna quickly run this again. Yeah. Fine. Now, uh, in the in the PPT, we saw like uh, what's the first option we are gonna use. Like first option is indexing operator. If this is a normal indexing um, operator uh, work. So in this example, like I will show you. Oh, first I try to remove this uh, multiple option so that you have a clear view of how it works. So uh, as of now, I want to select uh, the details of my friends um, and and display only the age column. So I have within my data frame, I have given only my age field. Okay, I'm gonna run it. If you see, I, it has displayed all the details of my friends with the age column. Similarly, like if you want to display any other column like location, it will definitely work. Yeah. Okay. How about having multiple uh, fields like age? This will throw an error because because you're passing multiple values but uh, so whenever you pass multiple values you have to specify it within a list only then my data frame understand it's a it's a it's a list of columns okay so yeah here it is yeah so based on the name as my indexing uh, i have displayed the age and location of my friends so this is a similar uh, this is a simple index when you go to some advanced topic like uh, let's see a few examples like uh, with loc dot loc is the label based indexing so 
uh, what is label based indexing so in this example like i i took a name uh, my friend's name as the index so based on the names which i have provided here these are my labels so based on the names which i have provided over here i am trying to access my values in a data frame okay so i have quite a complex example here but let's jump on to some simpler option like um, fine how about i want to display detail of my friend dave all right yeah here it is it has displayed me all the details of dave so this is uh, so this uh, so it will display all the row values uh, if you see yeah for dev it is age is 23 bangalore and he is a developer so it has developed it has displayed me all the values so again similarly like i can pass multiple values uh, using loc for if i want details of raj okay so since i'm passing multiple values i want to pass it within the list this yeah it, it is displaying me both dev and raj details so this is it displays based on a row level what if i do not want all the three columns like i only want to display age so how does it work so in that situation i can add for something called columns i am adding an another option for columns yeah here it is so this is a sim um, so uh, basically what i have done is using the using the labels i have tried to look into uh, i am i'm trying to search for the values inside my data frame here this is my row details and this is my column details so similarly if i want to give multiple columns also it will definitely work um let i will try allocation location right yeah here yeah, this so it is displaying me age and location okay this is uh, this is a simple uh, example of our label based indexing so what if i want you know i do not want uh, only dev and raj detail but i want all uh, my friends detail so i am this is a this is a slicing operator so python has a beautiful option of slicing where you can display entire values of your friends so what am i missing oops i have an extra component yeah here it is so it is displaying me all the details of my friends filtering by age and location so this is all about um, label based indexing you can perform the similar kind of operation with iloc op um, iloc method as well but the difference between loc and iloc is in the loc you used your labels that's my friend's name as indexing option whereas with respect to uh, um, iloc i'm i'm going to use integer based indexing so okay so i'll quickly run and show you what i have actually done in this example and then we'll come to advanced examples oops done done yeah i'm missing a comma here yeah here it is so basically um, i have what i've done is i'll go to my uh, data frame so i so i have provi i have provided 4 and 5 which is my rows and 0 and 1 which is my columns so fourth row means it will take my fifth column dash and tilak 0 and 1 is nothing but my age and location so it's displaying me the details of my friends based on the indexing uh, option i have uh, provided here so this is how um, indexing uh, indexing using integer works similarly uh, i can use the same option like yeah, i can use a slicing operator over here yeah so so this is similar to what i have used uh, earlier in loc operation 
so if if i want to display the entire rows with particular you know with um, some columns then i can display that here it is so so this is all about how i loc work so the key differences between loc is loc works on label based ioloc works on integer based okay let's let's look at another example uh, another operation called dot iat iat uh, you know with the popularity of loc and ioloc um, in a more uh, I, iat is very less popular the reason is because it is used to access only um, one particular uh, value in a data frame uh, i will show you an example yeah if i given 60 so it will go to my seventh row okay one two three so it will select what is what is like it is selecting my 20 yeah it will select my seventh row which is dev and i have given in the column index as zero so what's zero age so 23 okay so, so I, that's 23 is displayed over here but what if you know in the label in the integer based indexing i provided uh, like multiple values like columns like um, rows and columns what if i give something like um, um, five comma zero what if i give something like this yeah it won't work the reason is because if, if you see from this uh, error iit based indexing can have only integer values but if here we are passing list of uh, columns list of values it will not apply so whenever you want to access only one particular uh, value uh, you can use iit uh, even loc and ioloc can do the even I ioloc can do the same operation but the reason we go for iit is iat is uh, meant to be a little quicker than ioc so that's the reason we opt for iat but iat is not it's, it's not much popular operation it's not widely used but in but if there are any situation like if you want to um, you know, access the value in a data frame very quicker for a single value then you can definitely use iat okay so this is all about iat op, uh, method and the next one is ix so i showed you something on my introduction like ix um, uh, ix is the combination of uh, both label and integer based indexing okay so uh, so in loc we in loc operation we accessed using labels in ioc we up accessed using integers ix is the combination of both label and integers okay so here i have provided raj and i have this is my label and i have provided my index which is my column or index okay what what happens let's see what happens when i run this it will not run in this it, if you see it it shows data frame object as no attribute ix okay that the reason is because this ix option is depreciated uh, in pandas version 0 0.2 20.0 and above i am using an higher version of pandas so it's not working for me in case if you are using lower version of pandas then it will definitely work but uh, so um, uh, what what option does pandas give uh, to resolve this operation like now the uh, label and integer based indexing is removed uh, uh, but uh, it, it is depreciated in pandas but what uh, alternate option does pandas give is the question right so uh, pandas has given another operation uh, another method with iloc okay so if you see in this example like um, raj is my label over here so i want to see raj details raj detail i want to select Z, my second column 0 1 and 2 i am expecting tester to be displayed okay let's see what happens when i run yeah see this is how it extract the data from the data frame so um, you can do um, uh, so i i'll give something called uh, slicing tool yeah if you see it will display all the uh, um, column level details like age and age and location 
not all the details at the age and location okay so it has displayed me age and location if i give three it will display my designation as well yeah um what if i want uh, all the rows okay what if i want all the rows for raj okay so i uh, if i want to select all the columns all the rows before raj i have provided my label over here as raj i have provided a slicing operator so it means it will try to access all the rows which is present before raj okay if you see if you clearly see but my raj detail is not displaying only the values above like arun and somu's detail is displaying what if i want raj detail as as well so i want to provide something called plus 1 yeah if you see it's displaying me all the details so this is so uh, in earlier version of to just to reiterate uh, the solution in earlier version of pandas uh, ix was an option to use label and um, integer based indexing whereas with the higher version of pandas this option uh, is re uh, it's is depreciated ix option is depreciated and it is no longer available instead you can use the ilc operator to perform this operation okay so uh, this is all about um, uh, indexing and selecting data using pandas um, and uh, if you have any queries like post it in the comment section i will try to reply as soon as possible signing off from you your friend tyagu bye bye